योग कर्मसु कौशल Namaskar friends we are meeting once again in this online refresher course in english language teaching i would like to introduce and invite the resource person of today he is devmalya vishwas he is a research scholar in the field of linguistics specializing in english language teaching linguistic philosophy as well as communication presently he is pursuing his doctoral research in linguistics with focus on discourse analysis from jawaharlal nehru university new delhi he was selected for the coveted junior research fellowship after the very first semester of his masters in linguistics he was among us the toppers of the batch in jnu as an academician he has taught a diverse range of students in jnu birla institute of management technology galgotias university he is involved in preparing the official document information pertaining to the official language in the nct of delhi for the language experts committee under ministry of human resource development he has worked on critical linguistic issues in bengali and indian sign language he had been selected for a project with babla a leading multilingual online dictionary portal tied to the oxford university press i welcome you on the floor devmalyo thank you sir uh, what you are talking what we are going to talk about today uh, what is the module and will you just let me know the title of the module what you are going to talk well i am going to talk about enhancing employability through english language teaching and the scope of this module covers how teachers should enlighten students about enhancing their employability in terms of skill development as well as expectation setting when they are graduating as english majors or when they are learning english to get a job in the competitive employment scenario so this is very interesting i guess because this will help our our teachers and students eventually yes, to sir. know exactly what they are looking for and yes. how english can increase their employability skills or maybe their employability chances yes sir this video is to discuss the career possibilities for an english language learner or an english graduate and the processes involved in boosting one's employability english is not a vocational major that prepares a student for one particular job like a doctor for example instead a degree in english provides students with a broad range of skills useful for any number of careers skills that make a student a good job candidate include the ability to number 1 think critically and solve problems number 2 write and speak effectively number 3 edit someone else's writing number 4 express an individual's creativity in any number of ways like designing a brochure uh, writing a campaign letter reorganizing an office and others number 6 to process new information quickly number 7 to work well with others and number 8 to develop hypotheses research data and interpret and summarize data and number 9 to organize ideas and information With these skills English majors have achieved success in a variety of fields including writing editing publishing teaching public relations technical writing paralegal and legal marketing consulting business government museum libraries consulting and more there are various career possibilities that english language learners and graduates can explore first let's take a look at writing and editing now many people go into english with the goal or the dream of becoming a writer or an editor these careers are probably most often associated with an english degree 
publishing and editing to provide many opportunities for work. A professional writer may work for any of the following publications or organizations, newspapers, magazines, broadcast media, trade and professional publications, consumer publications, advertising agencies, government agencies, colleges and universities, not-for-profit organizations as well as businesses. Some writers are self-employed. Their career is based on freelance writing jobs or freelance assignments with one or more publishers. And they may write essays, columns, uh, opinion pieces, magazine articles, uh, biographies, book reviews and other pieces for publication. Most creative writers, for example, are freelance writers and they are self-employed. For this type of writing, the writer creates original fiction and non-fiction texts for books, magazines, trade journals, newspapers, newsletters, radio and television and advertisements. Now, if a student wants to be a creative writer, he or she might write short stories, uh, novels, poems, song lyrics, plays, screenplays, essays, columns or other work for publication. The student may be commissioned to write these uh, articles knowing in advance that the work is going to be published or he or she may write and then seek to have it published. Freelance writers usually have a good deal of writing experience that they get while working for publications or companies. Although it is uh, not a career that a student may be able to pursue immediately, it is one that students can aim and work towards as they gain more and more writing experience. As another possibility, students may find work as technical writers. In fact, this field provides many opportunities for writing. The best opportunities for a writing career are in technology. Technology is becoming increasingly more complex and more prevalent and covering more and more domains. Also, new information and products are constantly being invented and marketed. These factors create a demand for technical writers who can teach people about products, who can market products, showcase them, train people on how to use them or who can take complex information which can be scientific or medical or something which is very domain specific and convey it to a non-technical audience in a way that can be readily absorbed. As a technical writer, students can also research and write about products. Certain types of publications that students might create include user manuals, catalogues, part lists, training materials, marketing information and so on. The list goes on. Students might also write proposals requesting funds and opportunities for research. If students want to pursue a career in this arena, they need a degree plus some specialized technical exposure depending on the field in which they want to work or write. For example, they might specialize in science, law, medicine, engineering, business or computers. By taking classes or following some online videos in these topics or by getting a minor in these fields or by pursuing relevant work experience. In addition to pursuing a writing career, certain English majors or graduates look for work as an editor. Now, editors work for newspapers, magazines, uh, book publishers, businesses and not-for-profit organizations. Advertising agencies as well 
public relation firms, radio and TV stations as well as government agencies. Some small and many large companies have in-house newsletters and other correspondences that require an editor or moderator. Now let us come to the question of what exactly do editors do. To start with they assess the needs of the particular audience and then plan and create publications based on these needs and based on the audience. They may use in-house writers or hire outside writers and negotiate contracts or if the publication has a writing staff for example a newspaper or a magazine or a journal the editor may assign articles or assignments to the existing staff. Once the work is received the editor reviews, edits, checks facts and rewrites as required. Finally, the editor may oversee the production of the final products which could be a book, uh, could be a magazine issue, a newspaper and so on. An English major is a good fit for a career as an editor. If students want to pursue newspaper or magazine editing, they may also consider getting a certificate or minor in journalism. For all work related to editing, students need to be very passionate and they need to seek out experiences as a writer or in freelance editing. Most editors have assistants and this is actually a good entry level job to get the requisite experience to make the transition later on. For example, an editorial assistant may evaluate manuscripts or formal text and help coordinate photography, uh, illustrations and graphics. But the, again there is a danger that an editorial assistant may make photocopies, prepare packages to ship out and be assigned these sort of clerical work. Still it is a good opportunity for students who may be able to get their start in the editing arena working for a book publisher or other kinds of publishers such as uh, magazine or newspaper. Now moving to journalism, if students enjoy writing they may also pursue a career in journalism working as a news analyst, reporter or correspondent. These professionals gather information and then write stories or articles for publication. For radio or for the television, news analysts also called newscasters or news anchors collect information from different sources and then they broadcast the story on the radio or the television. It can either be live or it can be through a video recording. Often news analysts specialize in a particular news area such as uh, sports, weather, investigative reporting and so on. Reporters look into sensational breaking news items that affect the local, state, national or international scene. By following up on tips, interviewing witnesses or participants, taking pictures and visiting actual sites, they organize the facts received into a coherent story and then they write an article for a written publication or for airing the report on the radio or the television. Some reporters have a specific area that they cover including health, politics, sports, entertainment, science, business, technology and others. News correspondents report on news from their location which could be big cities or international sites. Working conditions for a career in journalism can be quite stressful. Often this type of work requires extensive traveling as well as being on call to handle breaking news. Working hours can vary and these sort of positions do not follow the traditional 9 to 5 schedule. For example, some news stations broadcast news 24 hours a day and for 7 days a week and 
The reporting staff needs to be available at all hours and work very long hours. Newspaper deadlines are often late at night. So meeting these deadlines also adds to the stress factor. Although most employees in this field prefer a degree in journalism, English majors may also be considered for these jobs. In addition to English, students may also consider journalism classes, getting a minor in journalism or getting a journalism certificate. For television and radio, students should consider specializing in broadcast journalism. Students must look for practical experience working on a school newspaper or a college magazine or website or other publications. Also, students need to consider internships or summer jobs working for a news organization. I hope the pointers discussed will be helpful while you enlighten students in the classroom about possible employment avenues. I wish you all a great time in the classroom. Thank you.